Okay. Now, on the other hand, the third example is our pictograph. Okay, pictograph is very interesting type of um, bar of a graph because from the word itself, picto, it has pictures or it uses picture symbols to convey the meaning of the statistical information. So your uh, pictograph should be used carefully because the graph may either accidentally or deliberately misrepresent the data. This is why a graph should be visually accurate. So for example, here in our presentation, we have weekly consumption average. So we have here pints of beer and glasses of wine. So we have used um, uh, the pints of beer to represent France, Italy, UK, Australia, Germany, USA, and China. So it is very visible that it's obviously they have Oktoberfest. So Germany has a lot of consumption of beer, while France, because it's um, full of winery, uh, another wineries and um, marami silang grapes. So more or less, France and Italy they have um, larger consumptions of wine. With the state population, this is very obvious, especially it is presented in a commercial. If we have population, we have pictograph, and we have here the you can sh we can directly see that New York is very dense and compared it with um, Vermont or in Maine or in New Hampshire and Rhode Island. Another one is with the residential construction. So we have here. Um, building permits, housing starts, and housing completion. So you can see the purple here is in August, September, and we have after a year, okay? So you can see um, there is increased building permits in, in August compared to um, the housing. The, if you can see, there are many houses he, here compared to the other one. So it's very easy to, to somewhat understand and draw conclusion from this, from this different um, pictograph. You can also apply this in our research if you have, um, if you have um, applicable data sets, you can use um, capsules or tablets or what it is that is related to pharmacy. Or you can use um, Rx values for R, Rx symbol for uh, prescription. For example, number of prescription filled. Then you can use the prescription picture or symbol to to make his to make pictograms. Now moving forward to the next one is a histogram. So a frequency distribution shows how often each different value in a set of data occurs. A histogram is the most commonly used graph to show frequency distribution. It looks like very much of a bar graph, as you can see here, but there are important differences between them. So our bar graph class, it has gaps between our x-axis, but with histogram, it has no um, gaps in between our x-axis. So when should you use a histogram? If our data is numerical in the x-axis, then we can use histogram. If we want to see the shape of the data distribution, especially when determining whether the output of the process is distributed um, normally, then you can use histogram. If you want to analyze whether a process can meet the, cons the customer's requirements or to meet the supplier's output or supplier's requirements, then you can use histogram. Or if you want to check a process that has changed over time, for example, stability of a drug or stability of the tablet in the stability chamber, you can use an his a histogram. So this is somewhat uh, related to bar graph, but you have to understand the difference. Okay. The next one is our area graph. So this one is very colorful and um, it is not really much used in, in pharmacy, but um, if 
if you believe that your data is appropriate for this type of graph, then you can do so. You can insert this in your um, PowerPoint presentation. Area graph class is an example or is under line graph actually. But with the area below the line, it is filled with a certain color or texture. You can see the colors here. Area graphs are drawn first by plotting data points in Cartesian coordinates or by plotting it. And then you could, you just like line graph, you connect it to each other over um, the values, the quantitative values over an interval or time. Okay. Or for example, your x-axis and y-axis, you just plot it, your data sets there and you connect connect them and you can um, apply already the the colors and you can stack it up together so that there are different colors um, representing the area chart so we have here an example for a we have here product um, violet product yellow product pink and product blue green these products can be a prod or this can be the vaccines for example the vaccines we have now for covid covid vaccine violet yellow pink and blue green and then on the y-axis you can have here 0 to 80 this can be our um, if, um, efficiency or effectivity rate or percentage so from january to july and then you can see here it's very helpful that we have colors to differentiate vaccine one from vaccine two vaccine three and vaccine four okay so in the other one in the other one here we have yearly energy production we have different countries canada china russia australia united states and france and then we have their their um watts per hour so you can see um, they have high consumption with oil that is the united states but with regards to Canada and Australia, lesser sila sa oil. Um, so the more variables, the more it will give you a colorful output. Now the last one under graph is our scatter plot. Scatter plot, as I have mentioned a while ago, is related to the line graph. So a scatter plot or scatter chart or scatter graph, it uses dots to represent values for two different numeric variables. So the position of each dot on the horizontal and vertical axis indicates the values for an individual data point. So scatter plots are used to observe relationship between variables. So, so if you see that that is appropriate to your type of data, then you can use scatter plot. Then we have another one here for pharmacy, discharge counseling versus no discharge counseling. So we have incremental effectiveness versus incremental cost, okay? And then we have cost effectiveness scatter plot. Blue is for discharge counseling and green is for no discharge counseling. So you can see there is an increased effectiveness versus cost to those who have discharge counseling versus to those who did not receive discharge counseling. So when you see it right there, you will be a um, reader like me or you can be, uh, will be able to see directly, okay, that um, the researcher were able to present or you have, the researcher has um, appropriately used the correct, correct graph because the reader were able to con to make conclusion just by looking at it that with discharge counseling there would be increased effectiveness in the uses of drug and also there would be decrease in cost okay so that would be the last example of our graph